Hello, hello. So, 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 everybody. Hope everybody's doing good. Happy Friday. It's the end of the week. Um, yeah, definitely happy Friday. Hope everybody's been good, man. Taking care of themselves and staying prayed up. We're about to get into the, the word the verse of the day. Today is Friday, as I mentioned. So let me find where we need to be at. July 21st. July 21st. Let me find you. All right. Go ahead and uh, start with a prayer real quick before I open up. Um, Father God, I thank you for this day. Um, I thank you for everything you have done for us. Thank you for keeping us safe throughout this week. I pray that you be with us, help us become better people. I pray that you watch over my family, my friends. I pray that you just come into this room right now and that you just help anybody and everybody who's listening and watching um, forget as far as sins. In his name, pray. Amen. So, as I mentioned, yeah, it's Friday, July 21st. Um, the topic is room for silence and scripture are going to be from first Kings 19 verses 9 through 14. So get straight into it. <clears throat> After the fire came, a gentle whisper. If you like peace and quiet, there's room in Minneapolis, Minnesota that you'll love. It absorbs 99.99% of all sound. The world famous anechoic echo-free chamber of the Orfield Laboratories has been called the quietest place on earth. People who want to experience the soundless space and required to sit down and avoid getting disoriented by the lack of noise. And no one has ever been able to spend more than 45 minutes in the room. Hmm. Few of us need that much silence, yet we do sometimes long for a little quiet in a loud and busy world. Even the news we watch and social media we ingest bring a kind of clamorous noise that competes for our attention, for real, for real. So, so much of it is infused with words and images that stir up negative emotions. Immersing ourselves in it can easily drown out the voice of God fact when the prophet Elijah went to meet God on the mountain of Herod he didn't find him in the loud destructive wind or in the earthquake or in the fire it wasn't until Elijah heard a gentle whisper that he covered his face and ventured out of the cave to meet with the Lord God Almighty your spirit may well be craving quiet but even more so, it may be yearning to hear the voice of God. Find room for silence in your life so you'll never miss God's gentle whisper. Hmm. It's crazy. I just prayed for that. And I didn't really... All right. <clears throat> yeah, it's crazy. God works wonders, man. So, yeah. That's... um. This is really interesting just to read that. It definitely uh, was meant for this occasion. Um, but the question that they ask after that, what are some ways God communes with his children? Mm, there's so many different ways. There's a long list. So many different ways. But again, the topic is room for silence. So if you, there's no silence, you don't, um, I think I said it yesterday or a couple of videos, but I said, you make time for God, find a quiet place. Like, so if there's no silence. You're not making that time to actually dedicate to God. There's no way. It's very, very hard for God to come to you and for you to actually hear anything that he's trying to tell you, especially when you're in the midst of chaos or going through something you can't hear what God's telling you if you're not even taking the time to try, try and listen. 
So, especially with social media, it's always a distraction. Distraction is distraction. So, if you don't intentionally make time for it, it's not just going to come to you. Like, that's not how it works. So, everybody has a free will. So, if you don't want to have a free will of making that time for God or finding a quiet place, um, then unfortunately, it's kind of hard for God to find you. Um, another question is why is it vital to regularly communicate with him it's very vital that you communicate with God because if you don't you can be misled by your flesh again I would say this because there's distractions friends social media um, work um, so many different things trials and tribulations that come especially when trials and tribulations is very very hard to be like oh all right let me go talk to god but that is the best time to actually talk to god that shouldn't be the only time you talk to god either though through trials and tribulations it should be all the time but it's very vital that you do keep communicating with him as much as possible because he will be there and he's listening and he's waiting he's waiting for you to call on him he's waiting for you to call on him it's us that run away and think that we can do things on our own. No, that's not how it works. We can't do things on our own. Um, I know that for sure. I know that for sure. It's not possible. Anything that I can do right now, I can't do it without God. I wouldn't be here now without God. That's just a fact. That's not up for debate. It's a fact. There's no gray line. So it's just what it is. So... Which will actually go back to who do you believe in? Do you believe in God or do you want to believe in the devil? It's it's totally up to you. You have a free will, but it's very vital that you communicate with God because I guarantee if you communicate with God and you keep Him by your side, life will be become much easier. You'll be able to understand things much more, um, especially with people. Especially with people, um, you'll be able to see things in the spirit. So you don't have to react in the flesh because you'll be able to see where is God in conversations and actions of people. So you have to be able to be vigilant and understand that to have discernment um, so you don't fall into the devil's trap because it's very easy to fall into the devil's trap and get stuck there. So, um, yeah, I'm going to close out with a little prayer. Um, I hope this helped um, anybody. Um, I know it's definitely helping me. So this is definitely a, was a good topic. I really like this. But I'm going to close it with a prayer. Um, you can say, loving Father, quiet my heart and my mind so I'm ready to meet with you today. Say that again. Prayer. You can say, loving Father, quiet my heart in mind so I'm ready to meet with you today simple as that simple as that and he's there waiting for you hope everyone has a safe weekend um, again make time for God he's waiting on you peace <laughs>